So finally, the time has come where we can actually get audio in Fusion. There are a couple of caveats here. There isn't a ton that we can do outside of hearing the audio and seeing the waveform. But at least we'll now we'll be able to time all of our animations to audio, which is amazing. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of walk you through how it works. It's pretty simple. There aren't a lot of options here, but I can show you a couple of things you can't do and then a couple of things you can do. So let's get started. Before we get started, for those who haven't seen my content before, I do have a website that's fully dedicated to everything DaVinci Resolve. You can go there and take a look at a ton of different tutorials I have as well as pre-made assets. All right, so jumping in here, I have two files. The first one here is just going to be a video with no audio and there's a reason why and then we'll also add in some audio let's say this is the audio for our whole project here uh, for now i'm just going to cut off the end there and jump right into fusion so by default what it's going to do is look for one of two sources either the video clip audio that is a part of the uh, video file or the audio for the whole timeline. One of those two, and only those two. Um, so by default, if we jump in here and we look at our media in, obviously this is how we get all of our media into Fusion. A part of that is the audio. Clicking on it, we now have this new audio tab uh, within the media in node, and we have the ability for a little drop down to pick what exactly we wanna have playback. If we have a video track here that has audio, we can play just the audio of that video track, uh, or we can play all of the timeline audio. So this is where we would pick between the two. Once we do that, if we come into our keyframe uh, editor, we can now see there's a green line going across here. If we have this to none, we obviously don't have that. Uh, switching between the two, we then have it. Uh, by default, you're not going to see anything here. What you would have to do is scroll through here. So just clicking and scrolling through. Now we see the uh, waveform and we can actually listen to it now. There we are. Uh, if you want to stop, so maybe you're jumping back and forth and you don't want to hear it, uh, you can click right here to mute, um, unmute. There aren't any like volume controls that I'm aware of yet. Uh, but that's how you would do that. Uh, as you can tell by default, the waveform is pretty small. You can zoom in and see more of it, but overall the waveform is pretty small. Uh, you can make this waveform a little bit bigger and how you do it is you're going to increase these. This is the same way if you're working on um, keyframes or whatever, it's going to be the same way. And how you do that is you right click in here and then you go to line size. Line size all is the same exact thing, it's just all of the lines but we just wanna see just the left channel here uh, or make it bigger. So we have a couple of different sizes that we can go. Let's go huge and there we go. Now we can see that whole waveform and then properly key up uh, all of our sound or all of our animations to our sounds. That's pretty much how you uh, have audio in there. But there are a couple of things I want you to be aware of. Uh, if I was to add on a different audio track or move this audio track, so as we can see, this audio track, it starts off um, a little softer and then it gets really loud. So what I wanna do to just show you how this works is I'm just going to have the loud uh, part going all the way across here, right? So this is all just really loud. It starts off loud, there's a little pause here and it's loud. Now, if I go back over into Fusion, what we see is that the same waveform is here. And if we play this, it's the same audio. Maybe I should turn off my head or the speakers, but it's the same exact audio. And that's not really good. If I was to come back over and let's say we completely remove it and go back in, we still have that audio. So this is something to keep in mind because you might go in and say, okay, I can't do uh, my motion graphics to this. Let's pop in a different thing and then all of a sudden uh, it's not working. Or you might be working on a collaborative project and someone might have changed the audio here, but there's nothing to show that it's changed on the Fusion page, which is, I feel like kind of weird and maybe an oversight. Uh, so how would you fix this? Uh, because here we have completely different audio than what we have represented in here. And that's where this audio cache is. All you have to do is click it 
And then if we look at this now, it's going to have that new audio in there that we can now listen to and work with. So that's just something to that I, that I noticed. There isn't any type of like watchdog that will see if the audio track in the timeline was ever altered and then some type of alert saying that you have an out of date cache or anything like that. Maybe it's something that they'll change in the future, but I just wanted to make you aware for now. There was a couple other things that I tried to do. I wanted to see, let's just reset this. I wanted to see if there was some way that we could get these to be represented together. So I went in and I came to like linking and I was thinking, okay, well maybe linking works. If I come over into fusion now, it's just going to look for that particular file. So this particular file, and it's still only going to be looking for the audio in that file. The other thing I was thinking about doing is say, let's take both of these and then turn it into a compound clip and maybe that will work because now these are a compound clip, right? They're on another timeline, but here they're looked at as one clip because now we're going to be editing that compound clip in Fusion. So now if I come over and I come over here, we do have a compound clip, but if we ever try to play any of the audio, it doesn't come through. So that was something weird that I also noticed. Maybe there's a setting there that I haven't, I haven't uh, been made aware of yet, but these were a couple of things that I noticed. Um, so I just wanted to share them, but that's how you have audio in Fusion. It's not that difficult. It is a uh, absolute delight to now have it in fusion because now i can show you guys a whole bunch of animations based off of audio and how to put together a bunch of motion graphics with audio so yeah that's pretty much audio in fusion <laughs> with that being said my name's jr thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one